Hi, my name is Ashish and this is step number seven for create an EC2 instance and install a web server and the project name is create an Amazon VPC for use with DB instance. So in this project we have listed step by step what needs to be configured, what resources needs to be configured. If you want to uh, create an Amazon VPC that you can use with Amazon DB instance and how are the different components interrelated for this to work properly. In this step, we will create a web server to connect to the Amazon RDS DB instance that we created in the last video. So let me just quickly log on to the console and take it from there. I am on to my Amazon console and I would go to the EC2 service to launch an EC2 instance. On the EC2 dashboard, you click on here, launch EC2 instance. Let me check here if this is already configured as a web server. Let's wait. It is not. So I'm going to click on launch instance. And I'm going to search for the Amazon Linux like this. And I'm going to select so I'm going to search for AMZN AMI HVM dot zero three dot zero Not able to find it, huh? So under community, you would be able to see it here. Select it. Please do not choose an Amazon Linux 2 AMI because it doesn't have the software packages required for this lab. So for this lab, I'm going to go with T2 Micro and click on to configure instance details. I'm going to choose the 9 under network i'm going to choose the vpc with both public and private subnets that is my tutorial vpc subnet i'm going to choose an existing subnet which is tutorial public here because it will accept the incoming connections via internet and i'm going to go with tutorial public us west 2a right 2a and i'm going to auto assign the public ip onto it i'm going to click on enable and playlist default i'm going to add the storage looks good at tags I'm going to choose an add tag here and I'm going to click name for key and tutorial dash web server for the value security group I'm going to select an existing security group. I'm going to go with tutorial security group. If you remember, we created one, this one, third one. And because this group already has HTTP and SSH incoming connection, I'm going to click on review and launch. OK. 
ओके लॉन्च Let me check if I have an Ashish key, Ashish test key pair. I'm going to use an, a new key pair. I'm going to click on launch instance. Okay. And I'm going to click on view instance. It is initializing and after it is done, and after it is done, we will install an Apache web server with PHP. So we'll connect to the EC2 instance and install the web server. Let me pause the video and come back. Okay, my instance is running. So this, this video is designed to work with MySQL version 5.6 TB instance. If you would be using MySQL 8 point instance instead, you must set the following parameters to the value specified in a customer created DB placement group. The default settings for these parameters will cause the database connection to fail. So if my DB instance version is 8.0, then I will also set those values. But before that, I'm going to connect to my EC2 instance and install the Apache web server with PHP. So I'm going to connect to my Linux instance here. So if I connect, I say connect. So you do this. So you open up Putty. If you have installed it, if you don't, please install it. You, you get the IP address. The public IP address of my EC2 instance is this. Wait, you paste it here. And under connection, under SSH, you browse to your key pair. This is your key pair, click on OK. Host does not exist. 34. So first you have to change through that command. So you're going to go to downloads and you have to change this. PDF. Now you have to use Purdy Gen to generate or install it. So I'm going to load an existing key file from here, 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 here. Now you click on Save Private Key. Yes. Save it. You see this file. Now you launch Putty again. Enter the public IP. Cancel it. Copy it, paste it, search, or browse, come here, locate it, click on OK. Now you're connected. Right? This is how it 
works. And now when you are connected, give it a few seconds. Login as you got the username here. Login as EC2 user. EC2 dash user. We are all set. Now you go sudo yum update dash y. It will install all the updates the latest patches like this let me fit it to my screen so that you can see it clearly okay and after the updates complete it will install the Apache web server with the PHP software package using the yum install command this command installs multiple software packages and related dependencies at the same time. So let the updates complete and then we'll do it. Status is complete. Now we'll do sudo yum install dash http http d24 php 56 php 56 SQL ND it will install it complete and if you get an error message that no package available then you did not install and launch the instance with the Amazon Linux AMI you might be using the Amazon Linux 2 AMI instead right you can view your version of amazon linux with, with the system release command now you will have to start the web server sudo service start okay and if you want to check that your web server is properly installed and started you can enter the public IP address here like this and Amazon Linux AMI test page you're getting this because you have installed web server on your Linux EC2 instance now you have to configure the web server to to start with each system boot using the check config command you Go here, you write in sudo check config on and to allow EC2 user to manage files in the default root directory for the Apache web server, we have to modify the ownership and permissions of the var www directory. So in this video you add a group name www to your EC2 instance. So you do sudo this and then you give that group ownership of the var www directory. So you go sudo like this ec2 dash user and you log out to refresh we have to 
log back in so you open putty again you do it go to auth locate the key click on open login as ec2 user and then you click on groups select groups you are ec2 user wheel and www right now you have to change the group ownership of the my w directory and it constant it it its contents so you do sudo chg change group dash capital r www where now you have to change the directory permission mode where and now you have to do find where type t exec sudo the curly brackets plus recursively change the permissions for files in the where 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 find www type f dash exec sudo like this now you have to connect your apache web server to your db instance so let it finish here and in the next video we will connect the apache web server to the DB instance. So I hope you liked it. If you have any queries, please mention them in the comment section. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.